Hey, today we're working on a on a foundation in in Malden, Massachusetts. It's, it's about a 110 year old home, and it has uh, mortar foundation, stone wall, uh, all around the base of the home. So the foundation is pointed with this mortar, and uh, this is well below the uh, siding, so it's 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 worn down. You can start to see a lot of the granules in the aggregate. You can see the grays and the white sands and all sorts of sands in there. So my goal is to match this color and to match this look, including the uh, strike marks that they put in there with the tool. So what we've done is we've gone to this product and uh, we've decided on this color as a first test, which is the 22H. And the recipe is right here, very straightforward. So we're using, to get a nice tight bend, we're using uh, the, uh, the Portland cement. I used the ironclad, and then we're using uh, lime. And the lime is, very, is a white color, of course, so that gives a lot of the, it helps with the hue of, this, of the color. So what we did is, over here, sorry about that delay, uh, we have a, a bucket of, uh, of, of the mix. So we put it and we mark it, what's in here, so that I can always repeat it if I need to, if I run out on the job. So I'm using a mix, it's a dry mix, and the, the lime in the Portland is already in there. And uh, so I'm about to make a test with this uh, to find out how, uh, how it will react to the different tooling. This is an old test here of a different color. And you notice that uh, this is actually marked because I did an acid wash afterwards to see how it would react. This is sponged and then acid washed. This is just tooled and there's no acid on it. So, you know, I basically wanted to see all the different variations of the color and how it would come out if I did the test. So that's a different color, uh, and, uh, and, and that bucket's waiting for another job. But this is for today's job, and I'm just gonna end the video here and update you with the test. The first thing I'm noticing is the dry mix, which is, right now, this is the three uh, coarse sand to, um, to one of the Premix mortar, as as it's dry, it's actually pretty darn close in color. So I think that's one, probably one of my telltale signs to see if I'm getting close. So it's dry before it's mixed up. It's actually very close. Let's see how this goes. Okay, next we have a sample board. On the left we have uh, sponged finish. So when I sponge it, definitely it's a wet. You know, it's a it's a wet mix. It's still it hasn't dried yet, and I sponged it, and that revealed all the aggregate. So that's one way on the left. On the right side, it's still a little wet, and then I just kind of push brushed it. In other words, um, I just sort of dabbed the brush and pushed it that way, exposing the aggregate. So those are the two finishes I'm making for the sample, and I'll let it dry out and see what we get. Actually, now taking out the, uh, the blown out joints, the dried out joints, the joints that are just not holding anymore. There's a lot of old repairs here that we're also chiseling out. Uh, you can see some of these old mortar smears and some rubberized material that's stuck in there. So we're going to chisel all that out and prep the foundation for the new mortar. At this point the joints are all cut out and washed out as far as I want to take them back. You can see the lime mortar. Uh, it's very white and, uh, and what they did is they put a skim coat over that of a different mix, and you can see how that is darker. Um, I don't think it's Portland because of the age, but it's possible uh, that they did a Portland mix, but it's very, it's very hard mix uh, compared to the, the back lime mix. So you get a lime, really strong, like mostly lime in the back, and then this one here, the outside, is, is it's just a little dense. Here's another look at it here. So I'm going to reproduce this skim. We have uh, we started to place the, the mortar in the joints, so we're following the uh, the sample, which means that uh, placing it, and then we're sponging it, and then we're putting the strike marks in it. So that's what we have so far. Hope you can see that. <laughs> 